Throughout the 20th century, the Republican Party benefited from a non-interventionist foreign policy. Think of how Eisenhower came in to stop the Korean War. Think of how Nixon was elected to stop the mess in Vietnam. How did we win the election in the year 2000? We talk about a humble foreign policy, no nation building, don't police the world. That is a conservative, it's a Republican, it's a pro-American, it follows the founding fathers, and besides, it follows the Constitution. Declare war if you want to go to war. Go to war, fight it, and win it. But don't get into it for political reasons or to enforce UN resolutions or pretend the Iraqis were a national threat to us. For example, if China took back Taiwan today, you say go to the Congress or does the President not have the authority as Commander-in-Chief? Absolutely he does not have the authority. Where does he get it? Uh, you, you can't go to war without congressional approval and that's not a threat to our national security. That's, that's something internal affairs. Why should we send hundreds of thousands of Americans to die in a civil war? I mean, are we over in, in Russia right now, over Chechnya? I mean, it, it wouldn't make any sense. Did we go to war over Hong Kong? You know, it, uh, it, we should follow the Constitution and the advice of the founders. Don't go looking for dragons to slay. I mean, uh, why should we go and, uh, and, and provoke and, and look for trouble? We should talk to people, negotiate, be diplomatic, and trade with people. We do much better trading with Vietnam than we did with fighting with them. We lost 60,000 men there. It makes so much common sense and it's so appealing to the majority of Americans. Let me tell you, I, I really believe that. If you were president, would you work to phase out the IRS? <laughs> Immediately. That's <laughs> what they call a softball. And, and you can only do that if you change our ideas about what the role of government ought to be. If you think the government has to take care of us from cradle to grave, and if you think our government should police the world and spend hundreds of billions of dollars on a foreign policy that we cannot manage, uh, you can't get rid of the IRS. But if you want to lower taxes, and if you don't want the government to quit printing the money to come up with the shortfall and cause all the inflation, you have to change policy. take out some of the things you've been there. You voted against the Patriot Act. I did. You voted... You voted against the Iraq War. Yeah. But you also hate taxes and you hate gun control. You said it is dissent from government policies that defines the true patriot and the champion of liberty. It is that kind of talk that lost the Republicans the last election. And they deserved it. policy 
And uh, the problem that we have with dealing with this subject is we see people as groups, as they belong to certain groups and that they derive their rights as belonging to groups. We don't get our rights because we're gays or women or minorities. We get our rights from our creator as individuals. So every individual should be treated the same way. So if there's homosexual behavior in the military that is disruptive, it should be dealt with. But if there's heterosexual uh, sexual behavior that is disruptive, it, it should be dealt with. So it isn't the issue of homosexuality, it's the concept and understanding of individual rights.